Sergeant Keen here reporting for duty. Today we're bringing a new game to the channel called Kathy Rain. Kathy Rain is a game about. A woman with a troubled past, a person who must press on and deal with some real shit. So the developer uh, has been crafting this game for the past three years. Um, and it's going to be releasing, I believe it releases the day this video is going to be going up. Because I'm recording this a little in advance before, because I can't put it up because of the embargo until the 5th, I believe. Uh, or the 6th? 6th, I think. I, I can't, I'd have to reread it, but it's going to be releasing for $15 on Steam. Um, there's going to be some touching topics that are going to be ran into in this series. Uh, some of these uh, might be a little per too personal for people. Um, I was warned this by the developer. Some of them might be a little too real, might be a, a little heartache, you know, if you've ever experienced any of the troubles that this woman is going to be going through. I don't know what these troubles are going to run into, so you might even get an emotional reaction out of me. So. Uh, the game is uh, 4x3, so you're going to see that the game is not like perfectly full screen, and that is because if I do stretch it out to full screen, the developer has warned me that it's going to look off, and that you should just keep it on 4x3 and have it in the middle of the screen. It'll work out a lot better. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, create a new game. That's Kathy Rain right hey there. Hey you! Yeah! Uh, hey. Okay. Oh man. Uh, someone had a rough night. Oh god, this is so comfy. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. Damn, four people I, in that uh, room. I had a thing I wanted to tell you. I think. Uh huh. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. So I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I. Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out! So, I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. I remembered that you used to live there and everything, and... Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. A and get this! His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. What did you just say? You knew him, right? I knew it! I knew you'd know him. Uh. Uh. Yeah, he's my yeah, grandfather. He is, there you go. Was my grandfather. Hey, wait a minute. I never told you where I grew up. Oh, well, I. Uh, well, I might have sort of looked you up. That is not cool, Eileen. Seriously. What, what's wrong with that? I just couldn't like, help The myself. internet these days, man. Well, one of these days, you're going to help yourself to a restraining order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. I know. Well, All right. Anyway, you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. Okay. Are you going to go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. Yeah, it's kind of like short notice, Good you night, know. Kathy. When did you have to go all the way back home? Like, it depends on how far you live. Like, that's going to be pretty damn difficult to do. Oh, so this is 1995. Okay, day one. Oh, God, make it stop. Get up and go turn it off then. Go over there. Click. There you go. Uh, turn it off. Looks right. like Eileen left a note for me here. Hi, Kat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later. E. Wow. I'm so getting a new roommate. Well, uh, I guess I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on it with her full name, Eileen Mildred Summers. Interesting. Okay. Um. Uh. Use phone. Look at phone. Think about computer. Look at computer. Uh. We don't need to. Let's see. Use bed. Go back. Can I really just like go back nah, to sleep and not I just go? Ah. That would have actually been pretty funny if you just like go back to sleep. I mean, I guess we can use the phone, right? Uh, I don't got any numbers, uh... Might wanna pick up the handle first. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, pick up phone. 
911. Nope, not gonna do that. <laughs> I can't deny that. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted no to geek, real but bad. I know how to use one. A All computer, right. that is. Not a geek. I mean, whatever floats your boat, maybe you can use both of them. Um, I don't think. I don't need to take like a pink bear. What about my guitar? Play, look at, think. Nah, play. it's no fun when there's no. Really? Help me get rid of my. Helped you get rid of your last two roommates. How about you Pet just fiction. stop being a butthole? Love that. You know, I've never actually been able to watch Pulp Fiction all the way through in one sitting. I've watched like probably every piece of it in different times, but I've never like sat down and watched the whole thing. Sweet, got a dank ass motorcycle to drive around in. Uh, cemetery, let's go. Why does my phone keep vibrating? I bet my Twitter is like crazy or something or someone's texting me a bunch of times. I have no idea. Damn. You became a giant in this cemetery. We were real tiny and you just became a giant. Well, here we are. Yes. Here, here we are. Yes. Can God, we... I really need a smoke. Nah, you're Does good. Does anyone object? Guess not. Dead people rule. Uh, you know... I, if you say so, say so. Well, you smoked that cigarette for like two seconds and threw it away. Uh, that says price on it. Oh, here we go. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity, a pillar of the community, and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing while our loss is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Mm -hmm, sure yes. And certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail okay. bodies so they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Yes, the very first zombie. <laughs> that might make a lot of people mad. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm sorry. Don't be sensitive about the joke. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, oh, dang it. I skipped. Uh, talk to Miss Rain. Is that? Oh, is that my grandmother? Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Rain. Have we met, hon? You look strangely familiar. It's me. It's Catherine. Catherine? Who? You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Kathy? Bless my soul. Look at you all grown up. Oh, how I wish Joseph could see you now finally coming home. Let's hope he can. Wherever he is. A yes. comforting thought, dear. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Goodness, hmm. we have some catching up to do then. <laughs> I want to know everything. Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. Same here. See you in a bit. All right. Uh, new location has been added. Tombstone. I'm sure, you know, I don't. I don't really need to see the tombstones. Look at and en enter. No must go in there. Aw, aw. I wanted to though. I wanted to. Whoa. It's the priest. You Yo, don't want to get me started. Let's just say me and the humble servants of God have a history of not getting along. Okay. I'm sorry for your loss. If yes. Is that so? Here, have a brochure. Oh my God. Uh, what makes you so sure I'm a sinner? Uh, I'm a, I'm on a sinner, sinful path, Father. Uh, I, I accidentally clicked a lot through the dialogue. Uh, no sin, but what am I supposed to do for fun? And what makes you so sure I'm on a sinful path, Father? Wouldn't you say that prejudice is but a small step from the seven big ones? I simply meant that we are all sinful creatures, child. I hope to see you at the church. Don't get your hopes up, buddy. 
I'll pray for you. I wish you comfort in this time of grief. Yeah, well, good for you. All right, let's go. I wonder if we could just not go to the house. Could we just be like, I don't want to go. No, it's not enough. Oh, we can only go back to the cemetery. Dang. That'd be hilarious. Grandma, anybody home? And we'll just open the door up. Red horse. This paint looks fresh. Grandma must have had this restored recently. Hmm. A boots. mere single pair of boots on display. Boy, do we live in different worlds. Nice black leather coat. Right up my. Nice black. Okay. Uh, wheelchair. Huh. Never seen this around. Grandpa must have used it towards the end. What's in this phone book? Maybe I can get some numbers to write down in the future. Yo, phone book. Search. Search in phone book. Search for yet. Well, yeah, you got a point there. You know, I could have just. I wanted to search for just something. Some kind of winter forest scene. I've always wondered if it's supposed to be Conwell Woods or not. Who knows, man? Who knows? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. There's Grandma. Oh, hello, dear. I was just wondering what took you so long. Sorry, I couldn't resist taking that old wheelchair for a spin. Oh, don't give me that look. I put it back. You haven't changed one bit. Always kidding around, just like when you were little. Come have a seat. We have so much to talk about. Yes, yes, Grandma. I will sit down. So, now, tell me about your life in the city. Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm going to school for journalism. It's my second year. I ride a motorcycle in case you missed it there out front. Ah, oh, that's right. Just like your father. Yeah, I suppose. I must ask, have you heard anything from your father? Anything at all? No, nothing since he bailed way back then. I expected as much. He disappeared without a trace. No matter, that's ancient history. How Sharon then? Uh. Mmm. Tell the truth. You had her committed to a mental institution. Avoid the subject. Mm, uh, you know. Let's tell her. Mom see what is, happened. I had her committed to a place where she could get some real help. I just couldn't take it anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. In spite of everything that happened when she took you away. Yeah. About that. I'm sorry I didn't visit sooner, Grandma. Mom, she told me all these horrible lies about you and Grandpa. When I was old enough to understand what she was doing, I felt like it was much too late. What a horrible it person. It wasn't your fault, dear. You were a child. I'm just happy that you're here now. Me too. So what about you? How have you been doing all these years? I've been lonely ever since the accident. There's no denying that. What accident? Goodness gracious. Of course you don't know. She took you away before it all happened. Don't know what? I will never forget that dreadful day. August 16th. So 14 years ago? It was the middle of the night when Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet with an awful blank stare on his face, like his soul had been ripped from his body. Since that day, he never spoke a word, forever confined to that blasted wheelchair. Damn. Really? For all this time? I had no idea. It came as a shock to all of us. That's horrible, Grandma. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's, that's really, you, that's horrible. Incident in 81? Why do you think Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? I haven't the faintest idea. He acted very peculiar not long before it happened, disappearing for hours at a time. At first I even suspected he was having an affair. When I asked him about it, he just said he was chasing old demons. He must have had something to do with the war. Hmm. Possible. Maybe it was post-traumatic stress disorder? Grandpa always had a hard time showing weakness. 
I don't know, dear. I, I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Joseph was a man of few words. I'm sure he just didn't wish to burden me with it, whatever it was. Uh, what did the doctors say? What did the say? doctors have to say about Grandpa's condition? Persistent vegetative state. That's what they call it. I've heard it all by now. One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe infection. What the it's fuck? It's all a load of tripe. I had an MRI performed on Joseph. It's one of those state-of-the-art head scans. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yes, well, according to the scan, his brain was completely intact. They thought it was a technical problem at the time, some kind of glitch. But the result was the same after three different scans on three Whoa, different machines. Whoa, okay, you don't gotta get so mad. Eventually, they had to confess that they simply had no credible explanation for the state he was in. Hmm. And this injury just happened to occur on the very same night he mysteriously disappears? Indeed. I refuse to believe it was a coincidence. What did Sheriff Truman have to say about the matter? <sighs> Not much. He said they simply found Joseph in that condition on the outskirts of town. He must have the saw something was horrible. convinced there was some kind of foul play involved, but the investigation turned up nothing. He later said that he was sorry, but that he was forced to close the case. You know, you see I that could try to find out more about this. You're welcome to try, dear. Some kind of closure would mean the world to me. Okay, she's a I think I'll head so. over to the sheriff station for a little chat then. Would be nice to witness police doing some actual police service for once. Sure, you go ahead. Let me know if I can be of any more help. Uh, so that would just be asking the same thing over, right? If I clicked it I again. Talked. Yeah. Well, gotta go, Grandpa. Bye, Kathy. So this is kind of yeah, okay, yeah. Did it say it was like an investigation type game, like Grandpa Eleanor and his or Air Force like? Uniform. Looks to be in his early 20s. But like, you know, not not like open world, free world kind of way, but like that investigation kind of part of it. Uh, sideboard. I used to love digging through those drawers when I was a kid, looking for coins, buttons, and trinkets. Grandpa and me, we had this game where he would hide pennies around the house and I would go on a treasure hunt. Never in the attic, though. I thought it was too scary up there. Time to check the attic. Nice leather chair. Freckles, the old farm cat, used to love that thing. Mmm, take a nah, cup. I'm more of a coffee gal. What? You can't pass up some amazing a tea? A sized book collection. Tea is awesome. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna go over to the police station, and maybe when we're done up with there, we'll probably go ahead and finish this episode off here. Uh, this is gonna be more of, like, a l less talking for me in this game, and more, uh... You know, just, just enjoying the story. Sheriff Station, let's go. Uh, I think he'd object. Yeah, probably. Hi. Hello. Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Hey, Ooh. wait. I know you. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. My reputation precedes me in a kind of but not totally creepy way. Aw, oh, come on. It's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. You got an earring on? <laughs> uh, admit the truth. I'm drawing a blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, buddy. Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? Uh, the incident in this one, right? It's the only thing. Show Zippo Liner. Show Stun Gun. I'm going to stun you. <laughs> uh. I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. All right. Well, gotta go. See ya. Lenny? Yo, Sheriff! What's going on, buddy? Hello, Sheriff. Do you have a moment? 
Not really. Make it quick. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Hey. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. He's a good person, all right? They say things too good to be true usually are. Police report? Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They're official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't. Hmm. But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. It's complicated. Guess what's complicated? Not to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. What an asshole. Uh, Lenny? A little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. You don't know that I'm your granddaughter. Who cares about the law? Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. You want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. Just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. Hmm. Hello, Sheriff. Let's see. Show I back a cigarette. Show him. <laughs> what if he wants it, though? What's your opinion on this church? It's a fine church. I go there myself every Sunday. Interesting. I didn't think I would actually get show a stun gun. Probably not a good idea to show the stun gun. Hmm. Just walk over here. Miscellaneous uh, walk over here, maybe. I don't see anything labeled as police report, so those must be elsewhere. Maybe Lenny can help me out over here, huh, Lenny? Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Hey, I need to see the police report from 81 when my grandfather was found by the old sheriff. I'd love to help, Kathy. The files are right here behind me. But you better check with the sheriff first. Okay. God damn it! But the sheriff doesn't want to give it to me. Well, gotta see ya. Ah, okay. I'll try again. I'll Looks try. Like talking isn't gonna help me get that yeah. report. Yeah. I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Let's see. I what's behind those doors? Let's see. Hey, sheriff. What's the deal with that bum? What bum? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What bum? Oh, can make this guy ca ah, can make this guy cause a bunch of problems. Maybe turn off the small TV. Nice. That was getting annoying. Yeah, well, you're welcome. Mm, let's too grab. Carry around and too noisy to use in here without. Hmm. Brilliant idea to leave those lying around next to evidence lockers and locked cell. Just a bunch of box. I'll need a key. If I ever. Uh. Computer monitor. Probably recovered stolen goods. There's no way small town cops would be that up to date with them. Yeah, well, you know, okay, it looks like we gotta talk to the bum. Hey. Hi there. Um, so, see you for. put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. Oh, is I that take so? I last statement back. This excuse is even worse. Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. But that doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. Hmm. You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least twenty bucks. Nine. 
Fifteen. Eight. Fine. Ten. Seven. <sighs> Deal. <laughs> so what? Uh, you you could have got ten bucks, man. You screwed don't yourself. Cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay then. Let me know when. We'll do. Uh, how hey, about now? Okay. okay. How would I let him know when? Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? Ha <laughs> ha! Go in there. Search the files real quick. You don't see me, dog. Okay, let's have let's have a look at this. All right. An individual encountered on this side dirt row a few miles away from Commonwealth Springs, blindly walking forward with his eyes wide open. The subject was identified as Joseph Rains. He did not respond when touched or spoken to. He appeared to be in dirty from head to toe when wet up to his knees. Mr. Rain was uh, fiercely clutching a small tape recorder, compelled or complete with a tape. Being cooperative, he led the squad car to be transported back to town, picked up Mrs. Rain. And brought her along with who, with Mr. Rain to the emergency room of the community clinic. Upon routine inspection, the patrol car and tape recorder was found discarded in the back seat, filed as evidence in locker number five. Ah, yeah, okay. Hmm, I'm gonna have to get my hands on. That Definitely recorder. gonna need my hands on that recorder. Okay, let's find the key. Yeah, grab that key. All right, good. Let's walk over here. Okay. Maybe we could just sneak in there this time again. How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. Ha <laughs> ha! Sneaky, sneaky. All right, let's give him his money. All right. Hi there. Ah, we don't need them to do that again. All right. Too heavy to carry. Yeah, yeah. Let's walk over here. Um, open the le evidence lockers. And grab that tape right. recorder. Uh, is there anything else we need? I don't think so, right? We can't just grab a giant ass tool and walk out of here with that. Oh, Clean floor. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, it was worth a try, okay? It was worth a dang try. Maybe you wanted to do some cleaning. He didn't see me this time. All right, let's 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 see here. Dictaphone. Compine. How can I help us? Was it what? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. You'll have to get her a gift. A uh, gift? Like what? I don't really know your mother. Combine dict. What? Oh, remove tape? What do you mean, combine dict. Oh! I'm something nicely uh. By the end of the week. Uh, think about. Okay, boss. Combine. Do I combine. Do I listen? I shouldn't mess around with a recorder in here. Ah! Well, yeah, that that would be probably wait, uh, a Kathy, wait. pretty good idea. What? Do eat foot? I, I mean, food? Uh, boot. Do Absolutely I eat foot? Not. I feed on human misery. I uh. Relax, Lenny. Yes, I do eat food. Oh well, great. Can I buy you food sometime? And also buy food for me, and and then maybe we can eat the food together. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, I'd <laughs> actually I'd rather not. I'd rather eat a foot. You know. Ah. There's no good one. God, no, no, absolutely not. Actually, I'd rather eat. No. I'm really busy right now. Maybe later. Oh. Okay. See ya. There we go. All right. We don't want to be an asshole to him. He seems like a good guy. All right. You know. Seems like a pretty good dude. All right. I think uh, this is where we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here, and I'll see you guys next time with the next Kathy Rain. I'm Sergeant Kenai.